Hey guys, welcome back to My Apple Zone, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux Mint on your Mac using VM Fusion. So let's get started. Since VM Fusion is not available on the App Store, we need to check a security setting. So let's open System Preferences and select Security and Privacy. Under the General tab, make sure you have App Store and Identified Developers selected. If you don't, you'll run into trouble installing Fusion, or if you are able to install it, it won't install correctly and you'll run into an error. Next, we are going to install the 30 day trial version of VM Fusion. So search for VM Fusion 10 download. and click this link. Next, select Go to Downloads. Then select Download Now. So like most software applications, you'll need to create an account. So you'll need to register. Once you've created an account, you'll receive an email to activate your account and download VM Fusion. That'll take you to a page that looks like this. And then you'll select Start New Eval. You'll come down here to Personal Desktop. And you'll go to Fusion Pro. Select Download Free Trial. Download Now. And you'll see down here that it's downloading. Once the download's complete, just open the Fusion installation disk and double click on the Fusion installation icon. I've already installed Fusion, so I'm not going to install it again. When you're installing it, you'll be prompted to either select Fusion 10 or Fusion 10 Pro. I suggest that you select Fusion 10 Pro so you get all the features especially if you're going to do any development. So come up to Spotlight and type in VM Fusion. And VM Fusion's installed, and now you're ready to install a virtual machine. In this case, we're going to install Linux Mint. So let's go ahead and jump to that process. So let's go grab the Linux Mint ISO file, so you'll want to search for Linux Mint, click download, scroll down, you'll want to select the 64-bit version of Cinnamon. The Linux Mint ISO file is 1.8 gigabytes, so I would, sele I would suggest selecting one of the top two mirror sites, whichever one is the fastest for you. Um, you'll also want to make sure that you verify your ISO. I'm not going to download the ISO file because I've already downloaded it once, but I wanted to show you that process. So let's go ahead and install Linux Mint on VM Fusion. So once the ISO file has downloaded, I would suggest that you drag the file to your desktop. It just makes installation a little bit easier. Just grab the ISO file and drag it over to the installer. Next, click Continue. Here you'll be given an option of operating systems to install. Of course, you can do Windows, Mac OS X, Solaris, and others. Um, in this case, we're installing Linux Mint, but there is no Linux Mint option. So you'll want to select Ubuntu 64-bit because Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, so that's what we'll select. And, and this installation will work for any Linux distro that you want to install, but in this case we're doing Linux Mint. So click Continue. You'll want to select UEFI, click Continue. We're going to customize some settings. Let's call this Linux Mint. We're saving, we're naming the virtual machine. Next, we're 
Now we need to set some of our configurations. I would suggest that you go through all of these just to check them out, but the two that we're concerned with are processor and memory and hard disk space. So we'll go to processor and memory, we'll select two cores, and we'll give this two mega memory. And we'll go back and do hard disk. We want to go over to advanced options. We want to deselect split into multiple files, so make sure that's not selected. Um, we'll keep it at 20 gigabytes of space. Show all. Go ahead and apply these settings. So again, these are the two settings that you want to configure processor and memory and hard disk space before you do the installation. Um, you can look at these other ones, but for um, this installation, we should be good. So next, click the Start button to start the installation. And then hit Enter. And then come over here and install Linux Mint. Select English. You want to select install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware, Flash, MP3, and other media. Click Continue. So now we need to create the install space on the disk. Um, the default is erase disk and install Linux Mint. Don't worry, this doesn't erase your disk. It just creates the space uh, for this particular VM, which is Linux Mint. So we'll go ahead and install now. Click Continue. Select your location, English, US, select your language, I'm just going to call this choose a password. You'll need to remember this password because once the virtual machine is installed, once Linux Mint is installed and it boots up, it'll ask you for the password. So if you don't remember the password, you'll have to re you'll have to delete the virtual machine and start all over. So make sure you write down this password. Or you can select login automatically. Click continue. Okay, I fast forwarded through the installation. It's pretty straightforward, it's automatic. You don't have to do anything when the installation is done. Click restart now. That'll restart the virtual machine. Then just press enter. All right, enter your password. And you now have Linux Mint running in VM Fusion on your Mac, ready to go. You can come over here, open the browser, 
and we can go to and there you go you've got a browser running in Linux Mint in your virtual machine there's one last thing we need to do and that's install VMware tools for Linux that allows communication between the virtual machine and your actual computer. It creates a cohesive connection between the two for sharing your network card and other resources. Um, it just ensures that there's a seamless connection between the virtual machine and your actual hardware. So we'll go ahead and do that now. It's pretty quick. And once we've done that, you'll be done. So let's go ahead and open the terminal. And we first want to make sure we have the latest version of Linux Mint installed. So type in sudo apt-git update and your password. And we are now up to date. So now we want to install the VM tools. So type in studio apt dash git install open dash vm dash tools just like that click select yes and it's installing the vm tools and we're done. So you can close the terminal. And you now have your Linux Mint virtual machine running. Again, you can open your, your browser. You can come over here to the menu and select all of the files that you have or all the applications. Let's go to settings and set the display so we'll do a wide display let's do 1360 by 768 we'll apply that keep this configuration and we're good to go There you go, now you have Linux Mint installed in your virtual machine. If you want to shut it down, you can just come here and say power off. It'll automatically shut down this particular VM. And over here are your virtual machines, Linux Mint, that we installed. And you can just restart it by clicking the start button. And there you go, you're all done. So thanks you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna get notified of new videos that I post, click that bell icon so you get notified. Otherwise, you may never hear about any notifications. So thanks you guys for sticking around. I, again, I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.